Nextgen walkthroughs.com. Supper so one is Rebel Inc. And we are playing Borderlands. Alright, so in this video we're going to do the mission Scavenger Combat Rifle. And uh, this is obviously off the bounty board in Firestone. Um, I am level 19 in this video. And um, this, this mission is actually kind of fun. It's just, uh, uh, well, in my opinion, the, the scavenging missions are are pretty pretty fun to do because all you're doing is just um, the developers they made they pick one area of the map typically a building or an area with a building in it and uh, you just gotta fight some enemies and um, look for the parts strategically placed all over the place placed all over the place yes so Oh, uh, before I forget, because I always forget, the, um, those element artifacts we've been finding that are specifically for your Scorpio turret, um, to activate those, go into your, uh, go into your uh, skill tree, and to the left of your Scorpio turret, there's a diamond-shaped, um, icon there, click on it. And from that point forward, you could choose, you know, the elements that uh, that you want for your Scorpio turret. So, um, what do you call it? Now, before you do that, you actually have to go into your um, your menu where you have all your weapons and actually click on the the element to activate it. And that'll put it in your skill tree as an option. So, and you can get every type element and there's there's different levels of of that element as well so there's a there's shock shock one shock two and so forth you know um, there's a fire element then eventually in addition to shooting um, bullets and elements you're if you put enough uh, points into your um, skill tree the far left one your um, turret will shoot rockets. And that's pretty rad to see. It's really helpful. So usually what I do is um, once I get to this area, I take out my sniper rifle. For Mordecai, this is going to be really easy because this is just a sniper's gallery. Pretty much take out everybody with the exception of probably a couple people. So. And, um... For this mission, we're obviously going to get a combat rifle. Um, the only thing that sucks is that all the missions I've done for these, like the, there's one obviously for the combat rifle, we did the sniper one. Later on you'll get to do uh, one for a revolver, um, one for a shotgun. All the ones I've done, like the gun they give you is like freaking whack as hell. So Kind of makes me wish that the would have liked if the programs or programmers were to have some sort of a system that would recognize what weapon or class you would have, uh, or what you know level you were at, for example. And um, you know reward you a little bit better because for the most part that. Um, it's not very rewarding when you find all these parts, take it back, and, um, you know, it's not even a stupid, a gun that you're going to even use. So, it's my opinion. So the third one is up here. And, uh, obviously anytime you see a red chest, open it up. There's an in-game achievement for how many chests you open. Um, found some pretty good sniper rifles. Um, now with the sniper rifles, by the way, well not sniper rifles, but, 
Um, I mentioned in the last video, but if if you're looking to increase uh, as much money, you know, your money potential, as much money you can get, and whatnot, then um, if you're about to go turn in something, there's the last sniper rifle part, by the way, or combat rifle part. If you're about to complete a level, um, look for all the weapons on the ground and just pick them up and take them with you to go sell them. Um, a lot of times, you see, um, you know, something with not a lot of damage, but doesn't mean it's not worth a lot of money. So always, always pay attention to what you're picking up money-wise if you're not intending to use it. So. Alright, so uh, once we got all our combat rifle parts, uh, go turn it in. Get some experience, some cash money, and a, and a new gun. Or, no cash money, just a new gun and experience. Alright, see ya.